Hello, good morning, commanders. Hope everyone's doing fine this fine Thursday morning. Right, I've got a big issue with my base, and this, this basically, this setup is is absolutely uh, garbage right now. I do need to change the setup, so don't copy the setup because it isn't that good. But I've noticed something last time I got hit, basically, that I've I've made a big balls up with my units, and I will show you. I've got a little video of the guy that just he whacked me big time. This is the first attack on me. This guy fouled. He, he only used there. I think he only brought there with him. So moving on to the next guy. There's a big difference of ga uh, gunning up against um, Spartans with your Cosmortals in base than this new chopper within your base. There's there's such a big difference that you need to make changes immediately to your base, especially if you've got cloak. As you can see, all my um, Cosmortals are under the cloak. Well, these choppers, these don't work if they don't get uncloaked because they're moving shoot same as the sea biscuit he's kind of working but he don't really do that much damage to the uh the, the new air you need to get moving shoot units outside the cloak this is why i'm half tempted to go to shield purely for the fact is i can if i've got the shield i can then i've got no cloak and my cosmos will shoot because of the uh cloak generator None of my units. This is where I noticed what I've done. I've ballsed up and I start putting the units on fist. Massive mistake when you're defending your base. So they work totally different to what the Spartans do. With the Spartan spam, the Spartans, as they get close to your base, they uncloak the units underneath the cloak. So then the units start firing back at them. But these choppers do not uncloak. It, it, you'll see it here. He, he, he does throw a bit of ground in at me as well. The Spartans literally uncloak. So these start firing. The Cosmortars and the Gus or whatever else. Um, there's a big problem with the Sea Biscuit as well, Sea Wizard. The patrol that w that Kicks I have give the players isn't the same patrol as what Kicks I use on their units. So what happens is once one air unit comes in, the Sea the Sea Biscuit or Sea Wizard, sorry, it stops moving. It stops that patrol, so it's dead in its track. Once it's dead in its track, it'll stop firing at stuff. At air, as long as it's cloaked. As you can see, the Spartans are uncloaking my stuff. So it, it, they do start shooting them. But it's a big, big, big problem having these under your cloak going up against the spam of the choppers. And there's another big problem with the uh, Cosmortals as well. Anything moving, you'll see it here. Anything moving, they do li literally no damage. As soon as it stops, they kill it. So the main projectile misses the target off the Cosmortals. And this is another issue. It is probably done by design. As you can see, I put them on fist here, and it's just I've made a, a complete mistake by putting them on fist because now I'm I'm stuck trying to control every single unit in the game. So my plan is, as you see, I'll I'll show you what he does with the he drops in the new hero air, and he absolutely tanks my base out real quick because I haven't got screamer, and that's another problem that I've made caused myself basically. And as you can see, these helicopters, if they're moving, you can't hit them. Look at that. Absolutely creams my base. So Screamer's needed, 100%. And all he has to do, really, is to keep that moving. Them helicopters. If he keeps them moving around my base, the only thing that's really killing them is the Scree uh, the Sea Biscuit. Sea Wizard. I keep wanting to call it different names. I do apologise, guys. So I've got... There is a plan. I am, I am putting Screamer in my base. I don't want him on Fist, that's for sure. Oh, he isn't on Fist. The plan is to move these out, basically. I am half tempted to, to come away from, I'm going to move that bunker out and all because it's max level. But I, I, I also am half tempted. What you want to do is you want these just outside the, the uh, cloak, if you're going to continue with cloak. Only if you can continue with it though. I think I'm going to go to stealth. I'm going to test it with cloak to start with. If this doesn't work, I'm going to go to a stealth generator. And you've got to make sure this is in your base hidden somewhere. I'm not going to show you on video where I'm going to hide mine because it just gives my enemies the, the option to go and, and, and attack me, which I don't want to do. And the, another reason why I want to move away from Cloak as well is because of this Sea Biscuit. As soon as it shoots the first unit that's coming in here, so they send one unit in, this, this thing stops dead in its tracks, as I said before. And then it's under the cloak. It's a move and shoot unit. It, it stops firing and anything else that comes in it until it gets uncloaked, which defeats the object, in my opinion. So I think, I think the stealth is going to be the way to go forward. 
I need to go a bit wider on my base because it's too small. Especially if they do manage to take my screamer out, it's going to be, it's, it, as you see in the video, the, the video just a minute ago, it's so easy to tank my base out real quick with a couple of shots off the Albert Ross. So it, it's kind of, I need to go wider, a little bit wider. I think maybe four or five blocks more out. Use these walls to uh, bring that out just a little bit further. Make this uh, a shield generator. So I'll set this, not faction. I, I probably am changing faction as well. I'm not too sure about that. But change the turret to the the, the shield. M remove the walls around this building and bring all, all the buildings I want to get the um, the generators buffs, the shield generators buffs onto the CC and then move these walls out maybe three or four blocks just to give me that little bit of extra uh, radius on me actual the, the center of my base I probably am going to change these to uh, maybe flax or or the other one I forget what they're called Hunter, to, hunter or flak, as you can see, my hunters are maxed, my flax ain't, so it's possibly going to go hunters. Make sure you've got the red turret, the uh, fusion turret attached to them to give them that extra uh, buff. The only problem is, is I'm opening myself up to ground attacks a little bit more with this, and that's, that's what's worrying me. I'm kind of double guessing myself here. I think stealth, uh, I keep saying stealth, shield generator. Move me base out three or four blocks. The actual walls, not the uh, walls and buildings around the outside. Three or four blocks. That way, that way, as long as they use a little bit of ground, I don't really care. But I don't want to be air spammed. And that's the biggest problem is getting air spammed. Especially with that shitty patrol that kicks I give us over the one that they've got in their, uh, in the PVE bases. That, that works properly. The one in ours doesn't. It breaks. And I think that's intentional. I think it's intentional to make it stop once it starts targeting units, the sea, sea Wizard or whatever you want to call it, or any unit you've got on patrol. Once it targets its first unit, it'll stop dead in its track. Scream is definitely needed, guys, 110%. And you've got to stash it up in somewhere, it's like a real good place to hide it. I don't really know where I'm going to go with it, to be fair. Maybe under the go-go go bar or the defence lab, something like that. Uh... Or right behind the CC so they can't target it. I don't know. But hopefully uh, you understand what I'm trying to tell you here. I'm just stressing about my base now. It was doing well up until this new unit. And now I've got to change it all about. If I do come up with a new update guys. I will uh, I'll probably make a video of it. So leave a comment in the comment section below. If you want a video about the new base setup. If it, I'm going to test it before I post the video anyway. So make sure it works decently. Other than that guys stay safe. And I'll see you soon. Bye bye.